Hello, it's Mac here, and today I'm going to talk about some VIP missions that I would like to see added to GTA Online in a future update. Now, recently, pretty much ever since they did the event week for the uh, Executives and Our Criminals DLC uh, for the Organization event week that they did not too long ago, I've been doing a lot more VIP work in GTA Online. I feel like I, whenever I reviewed Executives and Our Criminals, I was kind of... Um, you know, I was a little bit harsh on organizations because, you know, I thought they were going to be a little bit different, but I still enjoy them in g and I still do a lot of them, uh, mainly because I really, really enjoy the VIP work. One uh, work in particular is Executive Search. I love Executive Search. Probably one of my favorite things to do in g Online currently. I love going into a random public session and just going and inviting everybody from that session into my organization, see who comes in, and then just starting up executive search. And I love executive search. You know, I love how, you know, not only is it fun as the VIP, whenever you have your bodyguards trying to protect you and trying to risk their life to, ta to take out the enemies that are coming after you, and then you're maybe trying to hide a little bit, trying to blend in with the um, uh, surroundings, because you're not shown on on the mini map, so you got to keep that in mind. But then you maybe somebody catches on to you, so you're trying to run or you're trying to attack, but you don't want to die. It's amazing, and some of my favorite moments of GTA Online ever have come from this game mode. It's a lot of fun, in my opinion, and it's not just you know fun as the VIP. It's also fun as being you know the person that's trying to take out other VIPs. You know, whenever you're trying to uh, you know, find the VIP in executive search, it's a lot of fun in my opinion. And I really, really enjoy this game mode. The problem is, is that it does get a little bit repetitive just because if you do it so much. And also, whenever you do it, you have to wait a certain time. I think it's like 15, 20 minutes. And you have to do that and before you can even play it again. And that's kind of annoying in my opinion because executive search is probably one of the only actual VIP work I enjoy, mainly because it's so PvP oriented. The other ones, I mean, you have Executive Deathmatch, but I haven't really played that much because for the most part, whenever I send uh, other VIP organizations to actually do it, they decline it, and I never get requests myself, really. So, um, you know, other than that, you don't really have much. You have, uh, you have, you have Asset Recovery, you have, you know, uh, you have Sightseer, stuff like that, but those aren't, like, mainly pvp oriented i would like to see more game modes like that uh game modes that are like you know just more pvp oriented um so i came up with a few suggestions um and i also want to ask you guys later you know whenever this video is over to put your thoughts in the comments you know what game modes would you like to see and uh you know would you like to see any at all pretty much and i would like to see this in a new update um who knows if it will ever happen this is just speculation but i would really uh, I just want to put my thoughts out there and see what you guys uh, think. So one would be an escort the VIP mission. Now this could be going one of two ways. One would be you you are the VIP, so whoever the VIP of your organization who starts the job would be uh, you know doing this mission, and you, your bodyguards would have to escort escort you across the map pretty much. So you'd have to go to an area, uh, maybe get in a special vehicle like an insurgent or a limo or something like that. And you'd have to drive or have an AI drive you or another bodyguard or something. Somebody drive you uh, to a checkpoint. And your bodyguards would have to defend you. And pr I feel like that could actually work out pretty well. Especially if they had like the turreted limo. And like the VIPs like on the turret or something. But he'd, you know, he'd be able to get in into the vehicle as well. So he wouldn't always be exposed. I feel like that would really, really help out the game mode. And I feel like that would actually be pretty, pretty interesting. And um, that would also be a mainly PvP-oriented game mode. Uh, maybe they could also send a little bit of cops, uh, just in case, if there's not other you know, players coming after you. But uh, still, I feel like it would be a pretty nice game mode. Another one would be a little less PvP-oriented, but still something I feel like actually would be kind of interesting, is a grab-the-air checkpoints mission. Now, we have seen these before with uh, free mode events, and... It, they don't exactly always work out too well, in my opinion, but I feel like if it was a VIP mission, it would actually be kind of interesting on how it works. So, if you've never played the free mode event, basically you have to get in an air vehicle, or, you know, there are land ones as well, but 
you have, you know, where you have to get in a vehicle and you have to just fly over the checkpoints. It's also kind of, I think, a, a versus mission called like a G rating or something. That may be the wrong name, but I know that there's a uh, actual air uh, versus mission that's kind of similar. I just can't remember the name. So what I feel like this could work is basically the VIP would have to grab all the air checkpoints in a certain location. So they wouldn't be too far away, um, but they would just have to fly over to the air checkpoints, go through them, and they would you know, they would basically get them. So, I feel like that could work. Maybe the VIP could be the only person who can pick them up, and he'd be maybe in, like, a Bezra or something like that, or maybe a Vestra. And then you would have other people, other your bodyguards would be in, like, more attack jets or something, like a laser or a Hydra or something. So, they would have to take out the other guys who are trying to take out your, uh, your VIP. And if the other, you know, uh, rivals or, you know, the people that aren't in your organization... If they take out the VIP, maybe they win. Same with the escort the VIP mission. You know, if they take out the VIP, then they'd win. Uh, and they'd win their money and stuff like that. And the organization wouldn't get any money. Another one would be destroy the vehicles mission. Now, what I feel like this could work is you'd have the VIP and, you know, the bodyguards. And essentially, they would have to go around the map and destroy vehicles. Now, these vehicles would be driven by AI. And they would just be driving around the map. And these would be across the map. So uh, what I feel like about this could work is uh, as a rival or somebody who's not in your organization and he's trying to take out the VIP and you know, uh, basically win themselves, what I feel like could work with this is that they could either take out the VIP and if the VIP dies, then they would win you know, and the mission would be over. Or what could also happen is they could go you know, find the vehicles because they would be located on the minimap for everybody in the game. Uh, and I feel like what they could do is destroy the vehicles before the VIP gets there and, you know, before the organization destroys them and then they would get a little bit of money. You'd get more money for killing the VIP than if you just destroy a few vehicles, but, uh, you would get money, um, you know, for destroying each and every vehicle. So like a few thousand dollars for each vehicle destroyed, I feel like that would actually be pretty good. And the amount of vehicles would depend, but I feel like they could just go about eh, five, six, something like that. That could probably work out pretty well. And uh, next and finally, I would like to see a sort of defend the bags. So like take executive search, but put it where it's like there's bags on, you know, in that executive search circle. I feel like that's what this would be like. And I would really like this game mode because it's kind of like Executive Search but with more of an objective rather than just, oh, kill the VIP and stuff and find the VIP. I feel like this would be better because there would be bags around the map or around that area. And if you steal one, then you'd be located on the minimap. But there would also be like, you know, uh, they would also want to defend the other bag. So it's sort of like, well, would a bodyguard want to take you out or, you know, would they want to send all their forces after you and what... Uh, you'd have to take the bag back to, you know, a base or something uh, somewhere across the map. Or would they want to just defend the other bags? Now, they could maybe do it where if all the bags get stolen, then that's whenever you get the money. But I feel like if you're a if you're just a random player and you steal the bag and you take it back, then you'd get a little bit of money just in case, like, you know, since you still did your work, uh, but you unless all the bags get taken away, you wouldn't get, like, a, a huge cut at the end. And if the organization defends it, then that would be uh, their money. But if they, you know, it would depend on how much, you know, bags are left. So if the organization only has one bag left, then they wouldn't really get as much money as if they had all the bags left, which could be about maybe four to six bags or something like that. They could probably do something like that. Of course, balance uh, things would be something that Rockstar would have to sort out. Um, I'm not necessarily going to talk about that in this video, but I feel like these are just a few ideas that I would like to see for missions and stuff. Uh, sure, they're not the most innovative ideas, I guess. Um, they're just kind of other, you know, other adversary modes or versus missions or free mode events and stuff like that carried on over into this. But I feel like this would be nice and just add more missions for the VIP work and stuff. But anyways, let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. What VIP work would you like to see added to Geach Online? Uh, let me know that in the comments, but hope you enjoy. Feedback is always appreciated, and I'll see you guys in the next video.
Perfect. Perfect. A pleasure doing business with you.